My initial plans for Words and Art was for it to be an exciting reading, not just a, someone at a podium, but uh, an entire experience. It's about a larger conversation about the way we see things, because all the writers come from the same starting point. They see the same thing, but they come to it with their own experience and their own writing ability and they produce all varieties of different works. It doesn't have to be a poem, it can be a um, prose poem, it can be fiction, it can be flash fiction, it can be essay, it can be anything as long as it's words on the page. and historians have been working tediously to assemble a better understanding of this intriguing civilization. From what we have been able to put together thus far, the ancient texts and the to commercial have... assault on our lives, and here it is, guided, woven gently, transfiguring to the happenstance of a sacred symbol, a mandala of everyday life. Everyday life was simple. We drew Hana designs in our palms, at every occasion we could find the joy and pain of making the art, patience to keep it undisturbed overnight to bring out the best burnt the orange color. The melts in grief. It is this, his kiss. Circles that crown it shined. the windows where seashells dripping with sweet, jagged, hard edges, ripples the floor, creating a perpetual parade of patterns. I'm hanging on an edge, on an arrowhead, I'm spinning from my ground, trying not to slip down. I do not need to be reminded of a bullseye circling round and round in my neck, like your hot breath on the glass trapped inside spinning. I really enjoy the Words in Art event because I get to see a lot of the same faces that come back again and again to become good friends. My goals, I think, are to be as inclusive as possible, to have as many different voices as possible, many different backgrounds and cultures, ages, to celebrate all that we have here in this community.